we're going to figure out how to report stolen art. Hey, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. I like to talk about all things related to creative photography. And today isn't exactly photography related, but it very well could be. I recently googled Wild Empress just to see how much of my stuff is popping up online. And when I did that, I found a design that I created and uploaded to my Redbubble account for sale through TeePublic. I don't have an account there, so I know that it wasn't me that uploaded it. So when I went to the site, I found a shop that said that it was created and designed and sold by so-and-so and I looked through their stuff and it was lots of random things and my design. Now the really strange thing about my design and the reason why I was able to catch it was because I made this kind of logo thing sort of as just like a branding thing and the plan was to maybe just get one printed for myself and wear it in my YouTube videos or something, not so much as something that I was hoping to sell. So it was kind of a little bit strange that that particular design got stolen. But I also realized potentially all of my photography and any of my other designs could also easily be somewhere else on the internet and I wouldn't even know just because I only found this through a very specific keyword search on Google, Wild Empress. I don't tag all of my stuff Wild Empress and if somebody else were to steal another design, they might take the Wild Empress off of their key tags. But because this design says Wild Empress, it made sense for them to keep it, I guess? I'm not really sure, but it was kind of a wake, wake up call at how easily somebody can be just taking my work. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we get all of the information about TeePublic and down here I'm going to click on Intellectual Property Policy. Now here we are going to find the instructions for reporting infringements. Okay, so the first step is to provide an electronic or physical signature of the person authorized to act on behalf of the owner of the copyright or other intellectual property interest. I'm already confused. So what do I do? Sign a piece of paper? <laughs> okay. B, a specific description of the copyrighted work or other intellectual property that you claim to be infringing. If you believe that multiple works or intellectual property have been infringed at the same location, please provide a list uh, with specific description. So it sounds like I just have to describe my design. C, a specific description of where the material that you claim to be infringing is located in TeePublic. So I think I just need to give them a link for that. It should be pretty easy just to link them to the actual product that's being sold my address, telephone number, and email address, a statement by me that in good faith, I think my intellectual property was copyright. Um, another statement by me saying that the notice is accurate. And then I send that off. So that sounds like a lot of work. I'm going to follow through on it just to see how long it takes for them to get back to me and how long it takes for them to take it down. I will note, however, that if for some reason somebody kept stealing a whole bunch of my work, I'm not sure that I would waste my time reporting each individual case because honestly, I would rather be putting that time into creating my own work. But for the sake of learning, I am going to write all of this stuff and email them. So I have to start drafting that up now. Okay, so I've drafted up an email. I have addressed it to legal at tpublic.com. The subject line is stolen design. And I wrote, I have a branding logo that I designed for my photography titled Wild Empress. It is surrounded by a flourish of green leaves. I posted this design on Redbubble and have found it being offered on TeePublic 
through an account called, and then I have the account name. The link to the design in question is here, so, and then I linked to the tea bubble design. And then I said, my design is located here, and I linked to the red bubble design, that's mine. And then I hope this counts as an electronics like signature, but I wrote signed and then my name followed by my email address and my mailing address. So I'm going to send this and if I missed something or did something wrong, hopefully they'll get back to me with more clear instructions, but I've never done this before, so I don't know. And we'll see what happens. One thing that I do know is through my Redbubble profile, if I scroll down to the bottom here, there is this little thing that says copyright and then it has my name and then it's got a copyright URL and it says this information will be embedded inside any large images that are downloaded off the site. So apparently this should be attached to my image somewhere. So if there is a dispute, hopefully they have some sort of techie way of looking at the image and seeing that it did in fact come from my Redbubble account. So I don't know if it's going to come from that, or I don't know if it's going to come to that, but this is supposed to help protect me in some way. There is also a section here that says protect your work. And if you click on this, it will take you to some settings and you can pick if you want a watermark, a small watermark, a large watermark, etc. And this here, I also have clicked to discourage people from like right clicking and saving my image. So this is another small way that you could potentially um, protect your images. Okay, so now I wanna just share some of my thoughts about this experience and talk a little bit about my Redbubble and maybe some things that would also help keep your images from being stolen. I already talked a little bit about how I didn't much feel like it was worth my time if this was happening a lot to be pursuing every single image. I think that if I was going to do that, I might save the email that I had and then just leave the links blank so that I had a template to just kind of fill in for every complaint that I had if I was ever going to do that. However, I'm pretty freaking chill and not that I want to give people permission to steal my work, but I got better things to do and I don't want to waste my time doing that. So some thoughts on how to prevent it is this. I don't talk a whole lot about my Redbubble on my YouTube or almost ever on my Instagram. And that's because, well, yes, I do have some of my photography images here. For example, this is something that you would find on my Instagram, or it might be a photo shoot that I would want to record for YouTube or something. There's a lot of other stuff that's just like maybe the logo that got stolen that I just make for fun. I'm just bored, I'm messing around, I like to draw, I like to doodle. I like to just make up funny things. And so a lot of it isn't really like my brand and nobody would recognize it as mine. And that's a problem. If somebody had stolen my photography, there is a much greater chance that somebody that potentially follows me on Instagram or recognizes my work through YouTube or anywhere else they might see it and get a hold of me and be like, hey, I saw your image being sold by some other person, just so you know. So if you have a recognizable style, I think that would deter people from taking your images. I've never found one of my photography images taken and being sold on TeePublic or something. I'm not saying that it'll never happen or wouldn't happen. I just feel like it's a lot less likely, especially because a lot of my work is self portraits. So it's pretty obvious that I am the maker of it. If it ever came down to it in court or whatever, which I don't think that something like this will ever get to a court level, but I do think that the fact that it is my face, and it is my style and that is more recognizable as a whole would deter somebody from stealing the work. 
However, the other stuff that I have, like this t-shirt that is literally just font that says create all the things, there is nobody that would look at that and be like, oh yeah, that's totally a wild empress design. It's so generic and it's so like broad that anybody could take that and nobody would look at that and know that it was mine. So if you're making designs like that or something that is not a typical style, like I don't really have a style for that other kind of random stuff. Those things I think are a lot more likely to get ripped off and potentially the people would be getting away with it because nobody would be able to look at it and know just from first glance that it was so-and-so's style and so-and-so's work. So I have never even sold anything with this Wild Empress logo on it. I intended to eventually maybe get a t-shirt printed for myself, but this is not a bestseller of mine. I've never made any money off of it. So the fact that somebody else took it and uploaded it, I don't think that they made anything from it. And if they did happen for some crazy reason to sell a sticker or something, they got 30 cents. And so I'm really not gonna be too butt hurt over this because it's not a huge deal. I think the most successful people on print on demand sites do what I was talking about. And they have a specific style, they have a brand, they have a following of people that enjoy their artwork specifically and are supporters and fans of them as an artist. I think that the people that steal these random designs and put them up probably don't make any money. They're probably wasting their time. The simple fact that I kind of only half put effort into Redbubble and then the other half of the time I'm just kind of throwing stuff up for fun or because I wanted something else to do. I make such a small amount that if I was a thief stealing random comment, I would probably make even less. So like I said, I don't think they're really making any money on it. They're mostly wasting their time if they made anything at all, it would probably be less than a couple bucks. And for myself, it's not worth my time chasing this stuff down, trying to find it. I found this by fluke. So if I wanted to try and search TeePublic for more of my designs, that would eat into my time. And report it, writing out these emails, even if I had a template, getting all the links and putting it together and mailing it off, all of that stuff eats into my time that I could be putting into creating more consistent artwork and building a brand and building a style that would be recognizable and therefore less likely to get stolen in the first place. So that's really my thoughts on that. And I hope that it helps you in some way. And um, I will be updating you guys on how this all pans out, how long it takes TeePublic to get back to me, if the image gets removed, and update you on all of that in the future. But for now, this is what it is. Okay, it's been two days and I actually heard from the legal team about 24 hours after re my report. I got an email saying, I'm gonna read this to you guys. Hi Vanessa, thank you for bringing this to our attention the pursuant of our DMCA policy, we have removed the design identified in your email and notified the user who posted this content. Due to the nature of this incident, we have also permanently deleted the user account associated with this upload. Best of best regards to public. So Originally, I thought that it would be a huge hassle to just report each individual design, but it sounds like because this incident was a full on just taking the design, it wasn't sort of like traced and reworked or anything like that. It was straight up theft. I'm assuming that is why they were able to delete the entire account. 
So because that happened, I actually do think that it's worthwhile to report designs because while this person only had one of my designs on their account, their account was full of art that was probably stolen from other artists. So I just saved all those other artists the hassle of potentially having to report art if they even had the opportunity to come across it and find that it was stolen in the first place. So I have changed my opinion. It is worthwhile to report individual design theft because you never know the entire count might be taken down and you're not just saving your design. You are helping so many artists you don't even know. So that is my thoughts on that. And it was very interesting to see that within 24 hours, um, their entire account was deleted. So I'm happy and there's lots of other artists out there who don't even know that they should be happy, but <laughs> there we have it. I'd love to hear your experiences. If you've ever had your designs or images stolen, copied or anything like that, where you found it, how you found it and what the process was of you trying to remove it. Leave that in the comments below. If you saw something on my Redbubble that caught your eye, I always have my Redbubble linked down below. So feel free to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.